Hello everyone, nice to see you. My name is Alshir. I am an accounting and finance instructor at the learning provider Strategic Education. Today I am with you to start ACCA lessons. We're going to start F3 financial accounting. In this course, what we're going to do is to learn how to prepare financial reports. So stay with us, subscribe to our channel and learn ACCA together. We're going to provide you with all the videos so that you can get your certificates in the exams of ACCA. Today, it's going to be the introduction to our video lessons by strategic education. Learn something new every day. This should be our motto so that we can learn more, understand more, and get higher in the exams. So let's start. Financial reporting is all about recording, analyzing, and summarizing transactions. So in this course, we're going to learn how to record, analyze, and summarize financial transactions and make our financial reports for external users. The next thing we need to learn is the purpose of financial reporting. The purpose is to show the financial performance and the financial position of the company to the relevant users. In other words, financial performance means what the company did. A financial position means what the company has. So what we're doing is that we are showing what our company did and what our company has to the external users. Financial reports differ by the type of the company. Mainly there are three types of companies, sole traders, partnerships, and limited liabilities. Sole traders usually include one person running the business, while partnerships may include two or more people coming together to run the company. Limited liabilities, on the other hand, usually include more people, even hundreds of people running the company. So in this course, we're going to learn how to prepare financial reports for sole traders, partnerships, and even limited liabilities. The next thing we need to learn is the content of financial reports. But before we learn this, we need to know how to differentiate financial accounting and management accounting. Financial accounting is about preparing financial reports for external users to make them know what our company did and what our company has. Management accounting is about preparing reports to the senior managers so that they can make their decisions to run the company. In this course, we're going to learn financial accounting. So the first thing we need to know is the statement of financial position. The statement of financial position includes assets, liabilities, and capital. So the statement of financial position shows what the company has. In the same way, assets are all the things that the company has, and that will bring future economic benefits. Liabilities are the reverse of assets. They are the current obligations that the company should pay one day in the future. Capital is the residual. It is assets minus liabilities. So assets are controlled by the entity and assets must bring future economic benefits. Otherwise, we cannot consider them assets. Liabilities arise from past events and they must result in the outflow of future economic benefits. Capital is the residual and capital belongs to the owners. We may also call capital the capitalization, market capitalization of the company. The next thing we need to learn is the statement of profit or loss. The statement of profit or loss is by far the easiest one as it includes only revenues and expenses. Revenues are all the economic benefits flowing into the company in one period. 
while expenses are the reverse of revenue. So they are the economic benefits flowing out in one period that we are preparing our financial reports for. This is all for our today's lesson. It's been an introduction to the course. I've taught you everything that we're going to learn during the whole course. Stay with us with strategic education. We will provide you with all the high quality videos so that you can get your exam certificates. Thank you for your attention.